Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I am doing something a little different than normal, and that is I bought a few things from Hollister, which if you guys don't know, I have, I worked there in like college, and I have not shopped there since working there in college. So it's been so long. It's probably been 11, no, no, nine years since I worked there, and Gilly Hicks, they just started selling, I don't want to say they just started, but they sell their stuff now. And Gilly Hicks, I don't think is a store anymore, don't quote me on that, but it's like an umbrella under the Abercrombie and Fitch, just total realm. And they used to have the softest stuff. So when I saw Gilly Hicks in like activewear, I was like, I need to try this. So I bought some and we're going to put it on. So it's over here. I have not worn it yet. I've been waiting. <laughs> what I have done though, and you'll see is um, I bought a sweater, a pair of leggings, and then a sports bra. <laughs> the leggings though, I originally bought a small, and let me tell you, those suckers did not even go past my calves. They were that tight, so I already exchanged them for a medium. I tried them on, and they fit, so we are gonna go ahead and get out of my PJs and put them on. So let's do it. Okay, so this is the outfit. It is freaking adorable. I'll take this off first. So the sports bra is like ugh, the softest thing in the world. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just, I don't know. It's like feels so good. I got in a size small, which is my uh, like true to size, and I could definitely do cardio in this. It is uh, keeping me sucked in, and the back is really cute. It just It's a little stringy back there. I don't know. I like it. The sports bra is definitely a win. I think I got it on sale for like $12, originally $24, maybe $10. I don't know. I remember it being a really good discount. Um, and then the leggings, mm, mm, uh, so uh, originally I bought a size small and like I said, like I literally could not get them even over my knee. They were that tight. And so I got the mediums and they fit. So definitely if you're in between sizes, go up a size. They're, they're flattering. I'm not, I don't have any leggings that do a V like that. I like it. Um, I don't know. I just feel like in some places they're kind of baggy, like in the butt up here it's it's baggy which is not flattering um i these aren't flattering leggings on me that's just in the end my uh, analysis of them they're not flattering i uh, don't actually like them much at all but they are comfy they're more of a cotton feeling than athletic wear they feel like the bra i don't know i like the bra i just don't like the leggings i feel like i look a thicker in them <laughs> than normal I don't know. I do like the stomach, but everything else. There is a really cute, like, scrunch detail on the calf that's nice, but overall, I don't feel good in them. But I'm still going to wear them for a workout and see how they perform. Because I think casually, if you got these in, like, black or something, just to wear with sweaters and stuff, that'd be cute. But sizing is just weird on this. I did get some nice deodorant on this, if you were wondering. Though the winning portion of this, look at this reversible jacket. How cute is this? It is so soft. It's Sherpa on the outside and like a really soft cotton, the same fabric as this on the inside. It's so cute. How much was this originally? Oh, the leggings I got on sale for $28 and they were originally $44. And then I got the jacket in a size small and originally $54.95 and I got it for like $36. So everything was on sale. Which I do appreciate Abercrombie and Hollister and Gilly Hicks for that. They have um, pretty good sales. So this is the Sherpa side. Let's reverse it and see what the other side looks like. And this is the cotton side, which again is very cute. I just feel like I'm going to use the Sherpa side more. I don't know. Both are adorable. I think that the Sherpa side is a little more flattering because, uh, I don't know, I just feel thicker <laughs> in this side. I think this is going to just be a cute little gem cover-up to wear. Okay, so 
before we work out, it is snowing outside. It's more of like an ice snow. Actually, it went from ice and now it is snow. Uh, it's getting nasty though. Um, before we do that, let's go through. I have an Ipsy that came in and I have not opened it yet. So we might as well just combine this. The first thing, this is from, so if you don't know anything about Ipsy, if you haven't watched my videos before, um, Ipsy has an Ipsy Glam Bag and Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and the Glam Bag itself is $12 a month, and the Glam Bag Plus is, I think, $25. I will correct myself if I'm wrong. Um, but they also have a creator program, uh, and that's what I'm in. So they sometimes will send, like, cute little extras, and that's what this is. It's a little journal with a pin that says Ipsy on it. And on the back it says Discover Yourself. And I think something in here is also Ipsy branded. Let's pull it open. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Ooh, this is heavy. This is by Jim Line, and it says Ipsy on it. And it's just a little water bottle weird angle but we're gonna go with it let's see what's in here I um again haven't been wearing a lot of makeup at all I think I wore makeup last weekend just because I had it in a while for fun if you will uh, it's not fun wearing makeup when uh, you're wearing mask every day going to work but when you're going out to dinner and only wearing it for a very short amount of time that's when I like to put it on so this is the dream it, a new month, a new year. And the sky's the limit when you start small, a trim here, a bold lip there, your grandest glow goals will be within reach. What is going on with my hair? I don't know. Okay, I'm just creating more knots. My, there it is, oh, okay, oh, give me an error. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. And let's go with the Ipsy Glam Bag first. The te I'm a texture person. I don't know if you guys are, but I am so about textures. And I love a good, I don't even know what this fabric is, vinyl? I don't think so. It's like that, like, not, it's kind of rubbery, silicone-y feeling. Uh, the bag just says dream and it's see-through and the little key rings, a cute little circle. The first thing I'm pulling out is by Stila. This is a Stay All Day a Liquid Lipstick in the color Patina. Patina. P-A-T-I-N-A. Patina. This is a really pretty color. I wonder how that will look. I feel like that would be pretty on my skin tone. Maybe I'll put that on. The next thing is by <laughs> Drama Bomb. Drama Bomb, Extreme Volume Nourishing Mascara. I love me a good sample size mascara. I would just need them in my life just because I'm a chronic sty. I'm not a chronic sty, but I get chronic styes. <laughs> I basically am a sty at this point. I feel like genetically I am a sty. Uh, just all the time. Don't I don't even have to wear makeup to get them. It's just my doctor thinks it's a form of rosacea where I'm just prone to get them now and I'm on medicine for it just doesn't work I started taking some I think it might be allergy related to like dust mites so I've been testing out some allergy medicine I'm pretty sure it's helping but I, I need it I need to give it a little longer to see uh, but yeah this is a mascara and the <laughs> why am I talking like that uh, the brush is bristly uh, it's not like a plastic brush which I tend to like plastic ones it just it's very bristly I don't know what else to say about that moving on I have ooh, origins this is a retexturizing mask with rose clay and I do have some texture on my face I get acne I get bumps so yeah I do have texture and evening the surface of my skin would be lovely so if that can help me I will try it and then lastly, we have Cover FX, a shimmer veil. What does that mean? And Soleil. Am I saying that right? I'm not sure. Ooh, this is beautiful. What? Is that for your eyeballs? This is so pretty. Do you can you can you see the prettiness here? And the sparkle? Can you imagine wearing makeup? <laughs> And having that on your face. 
I can't right now, but I, I want to. Wow. I'm going to say this is going to be a favorite. That is such a pretty color. But this is very pretty too. Let's put this on. Let's just do it. What else do we have going on? Nothing. Okay, I put it on a little sideways on one. It's really hard to know where your lip ends and your skin begins. Or maybe that's just a me thing. I'm not sure. Um, a little crooked, yeah. But you know what? Overall, not too bad. And the color's pretty. It's darker than I expected, but it's pretty. And I like how it's purple toned, which I think usually makes your teeth look whiter. Although from back here, they do not. No. I could, do I, I, whenever I wear lipstick, I'm like, you look like a clown. I don't know if that's just me um, being mean to myself, which is pretty normal. Okay, anyways, favorite, I don't even have to put on to know, it's definitely going to be the Cover FX Shimmer. Um, second favorite, though, is this going to be it? It is pretty. We'll see. I'm going to have it on and see what happens. Okay, going on to the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, we are going to start pulling stuff out. The first thing is by Kinship. Never heard of that before. This is a gentle enzyme face cleanser. Bare face equals happy place. And naked papaya. And this is definitely a sample size because there's no way this is full size. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's really cute though. I'm kind of wondering if this is supposed to be in the glam bag. And just like was too big for it because glam bag plus is for full-size stuff I don't know could just be an add-in oh it smells good mm -mm -mm. I'm using Tula right now and I got to say and I hate saying this because my girl Whitney by my girl she doesn't know me but she <laughs> uses it and um loves it and I'm pretty sure it's very much sponsored by them and I wanted to love it too and I am just not loving it at least not all of it and I bought the whole product not the whole product line but like the whole acne line um which me so I might have to switch switch I'm getting distracted there's cars outside so moving on <laughs> by pixie oh I love me pixie I used to get scent stuff from them all the time, and sometimes they still do. And I just like, they're just quality products, and they're affordable. This is the uh, Nuance Quartet Sugar Blossom Blush Quad, and from the picture, it looks beautiful. And it's just that, like, do you remember old school Clinique stuff? Was this the color of it? I want to say this is a little brighter, but this is what it reminds me of. Ooh, beautiful. I see some nice highlighters. I can't see myself wearing that blush, but the bronzer is pretty beautiful. And then the highlighter right here. I'm going to see me using both of those in the summertime. I've never tried a pink highlighter. I don't think it would look good on my skin tone. I'm pale and I already have pink undertones, so... Tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that would be nice. This is pretty, though. I'm excited for that. So far, I've only opened two products, but that's the winner. <laughs> then by Sila. This is bothering me. Oh. This is a cream violet smoothing hand and body butter with lavender and oatmeal. And this is very luxurious packaging. Like, tell me that is not... Like, you would want to buy that if you saw that in the store. Let's open it there's always these little safety guys on it, and I always act like it's just gonna come right out. It never does. Video's way longer than I expected. Mm. Consistency's a medium. <laughs> I don't think people actually say that. It feels good. It's not, actually it is thicker. Maybe it's like medium to thick. It's not runny. My hands, I don't know if it's like eczema or some sort or psoriasis. It's not psoriasis. Um, but they get super cracked and like just bleed all winter and fall. 
uh, and uh, I put so much moisture on them and they just act like I abuse them and I don't. And so I carry on liquid bandage because I'm constantly bleeding and I'm in pain and just like patchy. That feels really nice though. Thank you. I appreciate you. Next is by mm, something I can't pronounce, but it's Youth to the People, a super berry hydrate and glow oil. And those are words I can say. And this is a little baby sample. And you put it on your face to hydrate, which my skin is very hydrated in the winter still. I'm combo. I want to say it's hydrated. Some places it's not, like my chin. Everywhere else is hydrated. So, but this would be the time to use it. I don't know. Oils scare me. I will say that they scare me. I'm afraid to put them on. Uh, I just always feel like I'm going to get acne just because I always get acne. And I have a breakout right now on my chest and I don't know why. I am on my period, but that explains like the other breakouts, but usually it's not just like a patch here. Okay. Anyways, by La Rousse, I'm going to say brushes because I think I got brushes for them a few months ago and they were very luxurious and I needed to clutter my brushes now because Ipsy has spoiled me with a bunch of nice ones. So I've been going through and getting rid of my like dollar ones from the Dollar Tree. Not that those aren't nice, but when you have these, they all of a sudden become a lot less desirable. This is just like beautiful packaging not packaging like the brush itself is beautiful these are the ones we got before but not these exact oh my god why does this feel so nice like 10 out of 10 nice i want like this i'm gonna say it this is the nicest feeling brush i've ever felt before and I have had it cosmetic brushes and those suckers are nice, but this is nicer. This feels so good, you guys. This is a flat powder. We also have a blush brush. Just a picture of that on my face. A highlighting brush. I actually never highlight with this type of brush, but maybe I should, I don't know. And then a flat shading brush and a tapered blending brush. If you guys want to see me do a brush declutter. I'm gonna have to because I have so many new nice ones that I just have to get rid of the old ones because I'm not gonna ever want to use them. <laughs> so nice. LaRousse. L-A-R-U-C-E. If you're in the market for brushes, I a million percent recommend you try them. And then the very last thing is by Wonder Beauty and this is a lip retreat oil. Maybe I should use this after taking this lipstick off later. I think Wonder Beauty is at Sephora. I want to say they are. So this is an, a very uh, aesthetically pleasing purple on purple packaging. And it's just a, you know, you rub it on your lips with a brush style. I'll put that on later tonight. That seems, I should do a Britney night. Um, oh, and then I did forget to mention uh, the bag it comes in, which is another Dream It bag. So that is everything. That was a good bag. For 20, I mean, these brushes alone, like I know this is worth at least, I bet retails for like 80-ish, if not more. Um, and this was $25. The brushes alone were worth the $25. And then everything else, in my opinion was a um added bonus so favorite in here is definitely the brushes a million percent okay but last thing i'm gonna do is a workout i'll probably do a sydney cummings workout she is my favorite she just does daily workouts for free on youtube and they're good if you haven't checked it out i definitely recommend you check her out she i use all during quarantine normally i go the y but it's kind of gross out and i don't want to and i don't want to film myself there so we're just going to do a home workout and um see how the active wear set performs with sweat because i get sweaty and um those are things i think you guys like to know and also how i move in them so let's i'm not working on this jacket so we're taking that off let's go okay don't need anything as i mentioned just your water and your sweat towel 
some space to move around, and I've got the rest covered for you. 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest, all day today, and I have a feeling this workout is going to fly by. about that specific workout. It is um, Sydney's 30 minute hit cardio workout, Ignite Day 19. I um, only showed you uh, like one circuit of four. So what she did there is uh, four different circuits and each one had three different exercises and you did each one of those three times, which is how it lasted 30 minutes and I'm really hot. The lipstick, <laughs> it's the only makeup I'm wearing. You see, I got a little crooked. Um, it pretty much stayed on. Mm, that's not too bad. It's a very pretty color. I feel like it looks, well, I'm red because I worked out, but like with my eyeballs, it's a pretty color. Um, it did transfer on my drink. I'll show you guys that. So, you can see it's definitely transferable. <laughs> I think that we are going to go in a little better lighting so I can show you kind of how it performed sweat wise and um, sports bra is good but the pants like definitely you can see sweat through it but I wasn't expecting it not to my hair's a mess <sighs> I'm so hot for 30 minutes it feels like I've been working out for an hour, which is usually when I'm like, mm, I'm good. Sometimes if I do a 30 minute workout, I'll be doing another 15 on top of it, but I just do not feel like it today, so I'm not going to. Again though, the sports bra, you guys need this in your life. Here's Link, if you saw him, um, that's Randy's dog. <laughs> He's a goober and always wants treats. It's a puggle. If any of you are familiar with the breed, literally this is all he does all day. He'll whine for treats and sit like that and make grunty noises. So if you have a puggle, I'm sure yours does something similar. <laughs> um, Olive Bear is over here. 
this being the sweet baby per usual yes okay anyways um a full rundown outfit review buy the sports bra skip the pants buy the fluff and um other than that i think i'm gonna go eat a protein ball um this sucker here oh, ho, ho. no bake protein bite mix oatmeal chocolate chip so good all you do is add peanut butter and honey and it's amazing it has some sugar in it that's mainly just from the peanut butter and honey but we are going through some chocolate ones right now that are delicious so i'm gonna have one of those and then i'm calling it a day and i'm gonna go shower this is what it looks like it's just you know oatmeal ball formed i'm doing it ever mm. <laughs> i've not had this flavor yet but it's very good Kroger has them for three dollars something cents. Meyer has them for five. Definitely, if you have Kroger, go there. They are amazing. Ten out of ten, recommend. I'm gonna go though because I have a puggle here that thinks I'm feeding him this, and I am not. So I'm gonna go over and eat this, and then I'm gonna shower, and I will see you guys very soon in the video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Check out um, Sydney. Videos are bomb, and she does them, and they're free. And just support her. She's great. Love you. Bye.